Welcome to Comics on the Pyre, where everyone can come and indulge in all things comic related, whether it be movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, or just comics themselves. If you love comic books, then show it by hitting that subscribe button to help this precious media that we all love thrive and flourish. Hello, viewer. It sure is a nice day, isn't it? This is a nice house too. In a nice neighborhood, I may add. What's that I hear you saying? Oh, who am I? Well, the answer to that is a little bit complicated. And for right now, unimportant. But I would like to introduce you to my friend, Karen. Right now, Karen is checking car doors to see which ones are open and unlocked. Why, I hear you asking? Well, to rob them, of course, you silly goose. You see, Karen is a junkie, a user, an addict. And she is looking for some fast cash so that she can score some sweet powder with. I myself have never found the appeal in the substance. I mean, why tune out of the world for escape when the real world offers so many fun flavors for the mind? I mean, Baskin Robbins only has 31 flavors. Psh, I offer so many more. But only on one condition, though. You have to reach out your hand and take it. I can't force it on you. I'm only an influencer, a purveyor of dreams you may have. Or, nice. the choice is yours. Karen wasn't always like this. This drug addicted addict that you see before you. She was young once and full of possibilities. The whole world was in front of her. And then she met a boy and she fell in love. And for a time, they were happy. Just the two of them. But for some reason, that just wasn't enough, was it, Karen? You and Jim wanted to experiment and you're used to ah. try to find yourself, tasting the seasons hmm. with your tongues melting into the skies mm. above. Now all you can do is either ride the white horse or think about the next time you are going to mount again. You tell yourself that you are going to get clean. All you need is one more hit to get you through it. Even though the horrific things that you have done can never be washed away. But that doesn't matter now because all you need is just one more hit these old bags have money karen just take it they have money all you need is a few dollars they have it why won't this bat just give it up make her give it to you karen she has it make her give it to you Bang. now you've done it they'll come for you you know they will Hello, Karen. I've been waiting for you. I have what you want. As sure as it is sweet, 100% uncut. The only problem is there's only enough for one single hit. One pure fix. So who's it going to be, Karen? You or Jimbo over here? He doesn't look good. I think he needs it bad. But I will leave it up to you. You decide. Who gets to ride the white horse? One last time. And that's how I work, viewer. Oh, people always blaming their actions on me. Saying, you know who made me do it. But that's just how I operate. I'm nothing more than an enabler of your wants and desires. Just think about all your sexually suppressed emotions and your hidden inhibitions and I will help you make it a reality. Lickety split. Hello comic fans. If you haven't guessed it by now, today I will be going over Ice Cream Man first volume titled Rainbow Sprinkles. This series is not your normal comic book series. It's more of an anthology series in which each issue is a new and different chapter, complete 
and to itself. The only consistency that ties these issues together is one character only known as the Ice Cream Man. And he is never the main character in any of the stories, even though he pops up in each and every one. It seems he works on your emotions, dreams, and aspirations. But it could be a just plain good old horror story as well. The first issue about a deadly spider, an orphan boy, and a rampaging werewolf. I'll let your imagination just run wild on that. The second is about the dangers of drug addictions and how they affect all those around you, whether they be loved ones or not. The third is a tale of a washed up musician whose time in the spotlight has long gone. Friends and family look upon him in pity, but in his mind, he knows he has one more great song in him. It's just a matter of getting it out. And the fourth story is about regret, of times that passed you by and opportunities lost, and how once certain time periods in our lives have passed, you can never get them back, leaving us with a heavy conscience that we can never put down. Because the time of reconcile has long since passed. If you think of the Twilight Zone or Tales from the Crypt, then you will know just what you have in store with this comic. If you like this genre of horror, then make sure you pick up the Ice Cream Man, as I am sure you enjoy the flavors. Pun intended. With that being said, I give this series so far a 3.0 out of 5. A good read. And I am interested in where the core story goes in the last issue because it hints at the core thread being built upon. To find out just what I mean, well, you're just going to have to read these issues for yourself. Until then, feel free to visit my comic book YouTube channel, Comics on the Pyre, for other videos like this one. Comment below other comic book stories you feel deserve some limelight. Tap on that bell icon. And oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends.